My name is Linda Pedley, and today's yoga practice is going to be uh, like a meditation in motion. So thinking of this practice as a way of allowing your yoga practice to emerge from the inside out, taking it slow, taking it mindfully. So beginning by coming into a comfortable cross-legged position, hands are on the knees, and beginning to take the torso in circles. So the circles can be whatever you want them to be. Maybe they're big, maybe they're small, maybe they're round, maybe they're not so round. And if you're comfortable closing your eyes, you're welcome to do that. Sometimes closing out external distractions enhances the experience from the inside out. And the next time you come forward, pausing to change directions. You might notice how circling in this other direction could feel different than it did in the original direction. So feel free to adapt the movement in any way that feels intuitive for you. This always is your yoga practice. If at any time there's something I'm guiding you through that doesn't feel appropriate in your body, then please feel free to adjust and adapt in a way that honors your unique experience. And gradually bringing that movement to stillness, extending the right arm out to the side, left arm comes overhead, reaching the fingertips to the side wall as we begin to create space in the body, releasing any sticky lifts that may have accumulated between the ribs, and deepening the opening if you like, by bringing the elbow to the ground just as long as the sits bones stay on the ground. If you find you're tipping off the ground, then straightening out that arm would be better. And taking one more breath here. And then as though you were moving through liquid honey, taking that right on over to the opposite side, left fingertips touch down, right fingertips reach for the opposite side wall, opening up in the right side of the body. Taking your gaze toward the ceiling if that feels appropriate for you, and finding one thing to soften. The movements don't need to be rigid. And on an inhale, windmilling your way right into a twist. So the left hand comes to the right knee, opposite arm supports the posture nice and tall as you inhale. And as you exhale, taking the gaze over the back shoulder. And inhaling your way through center, exhaling right on over to the opposite side, inhaling to create length in the spine, and exhaling to deepen the twist. And making your way back to center, and coming right into table position on hands and knees. So the wrists are underneath the shoulders, the knees are underneath the hips, and inhaling to take the gaze forward, creating a little hollow in your back. And exhaling as you slide the tailbone down, tucking the chin into the chest. We'll take that two more times, inhaling to come forward, and exhaling to close. And one final time, inhaling to come forward. And exhaling as you press the floor away with your hands. And coming into a neutral position, bringing the right foot forward between your hands. Both hands come up onto that front knee. And then rooting down as you reach up, extending the fingers toward the ceiling, reaching energetically through the elbows and the fingers, even as you soften the shoulders. So adding on a back bend if you like. And on your next inhale, windmilling the arms around as you straighten the front leg, bowing over the front leg. So the back can be a little parallel to the floor if you like, or allowing just a gentle curve to come into the spine as you reach the sternum for, forward. As you feel ready, we'll put those two movements together on the breath, inhaling into your lunge, and exhaling to bow. Inhaling into the lunge, and exhaling to bow. One final time. And 
and bringing the knees together. And taking that right on over to the opposite side, bringing the left foot forward between your hands. Both hands come to that left knee. And then rooting down as you reach up. Softening the shoulders. And adding on a back bend if you like. And on the next inhale, windmilling the arms around as you straighten the front leg and bow. So again, you're welcome to keep the back a little flat. We're extending the sternum forehead forward as you bow. And just as we did on the opposite side, putting those movements together on the breath, inhaling into the lunge and exhaling to bow. Inhaling into the lunge and exhaling to bow. And taking that one more time and exhaling to bow. And bringing the knees together, walking the hands forward, coming into a melting heart. When you're melting heart pose, the forehead is resting on the mat and you're allowing the heart to melt into the mat. The knees are below the hips. And on your next inhale, sliding forward into Sphinx Pose. So in Sphinx Pose, the elbows are underneath the shoulders. Feel free to let the low body release and relax. And isometrically drawing the hands toward the rib cage, which draws the heart center forward. We'll pause here for two cycles of breath. It's very gentle back bend. And releasing the torso down onto the mat, pressing the floor away with your hands as you cross the ankles, coming right back into a comfortable seated position and taking the torso in circles. So this is our grounding place. This is our centering place. Thinking about as your home base. Again, you're welcome to close your eyes if you're comfortable doing that. Pausing to change directions the next time you come forward. And retaining that meditative quality of the movement in this meditation in motion class. And gradually bringing that movement to stillness, extending the right arm out to the side, left arm comes overhead, reaching the fingertips from the side wall. And inhaling your way through center, taking that right on over to the opposite side. Inhaling your way into the twist, left hand comes to the right knee, opposite arm supports the posture nice and tall on the inhale, and exhaling into the twist. Inhaling your way through center, and exhaling your way right on over to the opposite side. And coming back to center, Rolling your way into table position on hands and knees. And we'll take two rounds of calf and cow breath this time. Inhaling as you draw the heart center forward, little hollow in the back. And exhaling to press the floor away with the hands. Taking that one more time. And exhaling, pressing the floor away with the hands. Coming back to neutral, curling the toes under and pressing your way right back into downward dog. You're welcome to pedal the heels toward the mat one at a time, or if you're feeling warmed up in the back body, maybe the heels are releasing toward the mat with ease. Just letting the neck and head relax between your arms. And then looking at that space between your hands, bringing the right foot forward into that space, feel free to help it along on the way or even lower the back knee on the way as well. And then with the left hand firmly underneath the left shoulder, either on the mat or on the block, 
Inhaling the right fingertips to the ceiling, coming into a twist. And taking the twist right up to the upper back as you press energetically through the back of you. And on an exhale, sweeping the mat with the fingertips and inhaling into the twist. Exhaling as you release the fingertips and inhaling into the twist. And taking that one more time. Pausing here in the twist. And releasing the hands, stepping the right foot back to meet the left, returning to downward dog. And as you feel ready, taking that to the opposite side, bringing the left foot forward between your hands. And with the right hand firmly underneath the right shoulder, inhaling the left fingertips into the twist. So we'll pause here, just allowing you to really feel the sensation in the spine as you take the twist into the upper back. And exhale and release, brushing the mat with the fingertips. Inhaling into the twist. Exhaling to release. And inhaling into the twist. And one final time. And inhaling into the twist. Pausing here. And releasing both hands down onto the mat, lowering the knees. Walking the hands forward, coming into your melting heart. Letting the forehead release onto the mat. And as you feel ready, sliding forward into Sphinx Pose again. Shoulders are above the elbows, letting the low body release and relax, and drawing the heart center forward. And lowering the torso down onto the mat, pressing the floor away as you cross the ankles, coming right back into a comfortable seated position, right back to home base, hands are on the knees, taking the torso in circles. So allowing this time to slow down the pace, if you find the pace is sped up for you, Changing directions. And taking the right hand out to the side, left arm comes overhead into your side bend. And inhaling right on over to the opposite side. And inhaling your way right into the twist. Inhaling to get tall and exhaling into the twist. Taking that right on over to the opposite side. Exhaling into the twist. Coming back to center, rolling your way right up into table position on hands and knees. We'll take one round of cat and cow breath here, inhaling to tilt the head and the tailbone up. And exhaling, sliding the chin in toward the chest. And curling the toes under, pressing the floor away as you take the tailbone to the back of the room into downward dog. Just noticing how your downward dog is evolving as you're moving through your practice today. And inhaling the right toes to the back of the room. Looking at that space between your hands, bringing the right foot forward into that space. And when you feel nice and solid in your base, coming up into a high lunge, both hands onto that front knee. And then again, just as we did earlier in our practice, rooting down to reach up. Softening the shoulders, adding on a back bend if you like. And releasing the hands 
to either side of that front foot, stepping the foot back into downward dog. When you feel ready, inhaling the left toes to the back of the room. And then bring that left foot forward into the space between your hands. When you feel solid in your base, both hands come to that front knee. And then rooting down to rise up. Softening the shoulders. And adding on a back bend if you like. Both hands come down onto the mat, lowering the knees, widening out the knees just a little as you settle the hips down onto the heels, coming into a child pose. And in child pose, the forehead can be resting on your folded hands or on the mat. A little gentle pressure on the forehead creates an additional calming effect on the nervous system. We're pausing here for three cycles of breath. Allowing the whole body to soften downward. And each exhale releasing deeper into that place of deep release that comes with the exhale. And on your next inhale, slowly rolling your way up. comes up last, taking a moment to receive the benefits of child pose. And one final time, coming into a comfortable cross-legged position, we'll close our practice here today. Just a moment or two of seated meditation. Hands can be resting gently on your knees with the palms down or with the palms up, whatever feels more intuitive for you today. So you're welcome to sit here for as long as you like. Or if you consider your practice to be complete today, bringing your hands together in front of your heart and bowing to yourself, acknowledging yourself for coming to your yoga practice today. And I'm grateful that you shared your time with me. Namaste.